Welcome back to another episode of the Cascade Mountaineers Dynasty. I've got the uh, championship playoff and all that stuff ready to show you guys before we get into the bowl game. Also the Heisman Trophy winner. Look at the award winners. Look at the All-American. We'll get into the game. So without further ado, we'll go into the Heisman Trophy. Uh, we'll go to see who won the Heisman Trophy. Jared uh, Humphreys was up for it. So let's see how he did. Boom, it was Jason McClellan as Garrett Humphreys finishes one vote ahead of Wilson from UNLV for first place uh, with less first place votes. As you can see, McClellan won in a landslide. Uh, Robinson and Cardwell from Army in Georgia, Oregon were, Georgia, Oregon were uh, very far behind our three finalists there. So not really much of a, a battle there, but... I went and looked at the stats. Humphreys had more rushing yards than McClellan by nearly 400. Uh, he had two more touchdowns and about 100 less receiving yards. So uh, more total yards for Humphreys than uh, McClellan. Let's go look at Wilson's stats. I have not looked at those yet. Wilson put up 16. 100 rushing yards with 23 touchdowns on 316 carries. So uh, Javon Wilson from UNLV had the most carries of any of the Heisman finalists. Receiving wise, he had 234 and three touchdowns. So he and uh, Humphreys tied for touchdowns, but Humphreys had the most full yardage of any running back. Let's just go check out uh, Cardwell first. Cardwell went 14 8 with 15 touchdowns, and he had 39 receiving yards with two touchdowns. So he's there. He's just obviously a step down, I would say. A clear step down. And then, what's his name? Robinson at the He had 17, 1,700 rushing yards, 17 touchdowns. He had 235 receiving yards for three touchdowns with the third of the receiver at Army. So, yeah, he put up a good season, but I don't know. I don't know if it was deserving of a you know, a fourth, fourth place finish in the high school. Patton Garwo. Boston College at Garwood third. He led the entire team of college football for 21 hundred rushing yards. Cam Porter from Northwestern put up 1740 and then comes to the third. Most yards per carry was seven per yard carry by a Texas State running back and a and Porter from Northwestern. The Porter had gotten more touchdowns. Have been the Heisman Trophy winner, but that's who won the Heisman. Now let's go check out the semifinals. We had two Big Ten teams: Alabama takes on Michigan, and Wisconsin takes on Texas. So this was next season. Two SEC teams two, versus two Big Ten teams. However, Texas is still in the Big Twelve at this point. We're making that switch this off season. And then let's see how those semifinal matchups shook out. That's right, Michigan edges out Alabama by a touchdown, and Wisconsin kind of puts the, the boots to Texas. It wasn't really close, 30-6 to six there, as you can see. And in the championship game down at NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas, it's going to be the Wisconsin Badgers by four points defeating the Michigan Wolverines. So the Badgers at 14-1 and one are your champion. Let's go look to see how they did it. Stats. We can get there quickly. There we go. We are there. Graham Mertz. Grammy COVID is the starting quarterback. He had 3,100 yards, 30 touchdowns, six interceptions, 61% completion percentage. But we know that this is a running team. Being built on the run, two running backs over 500 yards. Braylon Allen, the star running back for them this past season, who's 
Oh, apparently only a redshirt sophomore. For 1,500 yards, 15 touchdowns. And Jalen Berger, who's a former four-star, put up 146 yards and 12 touchdowns. Receiving-wise, Devin Chandler put 11 touchdowns, just over 1,000 yards. So, hopefully, their offensive line was amazing. I, oh, okay, look, look at all these pancakes. Never mind, I lied. Defense, did they have anyone go crazy? Seven and a half sacks for the leading sack man. He had 24 tackles for us. Interception wise, that four interceptions is meh. Fumble recoveries, no one with multiple. Only had six fumble recoveries all season. Speaking wise, Kicker wasn't even that great. It was six. Yeah. Punter, average punter, kick returns, no kick return touchdowns, no punt return touchdowns. Just a very balanced team, I guess. Just all around balanced. Team. So Michigan actually squeaked into the uh, college ball playoff after losing to Michi or losing to Wisconsin on the big game. And look at this offense for UNLV. Three first team skilled, skilled players. We get a wide receiver, they're running back, and Doug Brumfeld. So you know the must have just been insane this year. Good, good thing we did not schedule them. Natty has Nick Abrams, a left end, to be playing in our bowl game. Nick Taylor, the freshman, gets first team honors. That's going to do it for your past game on years on the first team. On the second team, obviously, second place in the Heisman Trophy voting will get you, on a, get you an All-American bid. Here at Humphreys gets the not on the second team in his senior season. Moving down, I think Tyler, or Trenton Christensen. Yes, Trenton Christensen gets a uh, strong safety nod on the second team as well. Now on the freshman team, I think it's just going to be Nick Taylor. Nick Taylor there on the um, all into the freshman team. We're going to look at all independence. Here we got all conference. Humphreys, first team all conference. Hines, all conference. How does he do this year? Eight sacks, 16 tackles for loss, 27 tackles total. Nick Taylor, let's look at his stats for the season. 42 tackles, 7 for loss, 2 sacks, 3 interceptions, 2 touchdowns, and 3 forced fumbles in recovery. Real strong first season for him. Patrick Singh also getting a nod on the all-conference team here as he gets 3, uh, three interceptions in his senior season. Scores one touchdown to make it an even three on his career. The seven passes broken up. He also made 57 tackles. Jay Tanner, who really I thought had a pretty nice season, way more dependable than he has been in the past. Makes 65 tackles after what looks like he redshirted last year. Five tackles for loss, two assisted tackles, and two passes broken up. Aaron Christensen. Three interceptions, one touchdown, four passes broke up, two fumbled, four stun recovered, three sacks, uh, ten tackles for loss. I mean, there's no Isaiah Simmons from Clemson, but he had a strong season. 22 receptions, 444 yards for Malcolm Leach in his first season in Division One. Four touchdowns receiving, long of 62, didn't drop the pass all season. He ran the ball one time for 40 yards. Guys, senior season. He saw his look at this interceptions. Seven, two, one. He got worse every year he played for us, it seems. Which is really unfortunate. His tackle total even was at an all-time low. Tackle for loss bumped up in 2022, but it was still smaller than his first season. It's just it's really unfortunate when you have a, a career go like that. But it happens in college football quite often. Six for six on field goals from Knutson, longest of 49, longest of his career as a senior. He made 100% of his extra points, and he takes 52 touchbacks. So he got better every year as a, I guess, foil to uh, guys. Okay? And then O.C. Lowry wins second team off conference uh, returner. He doesn't score a touchdown, but gets 700 yards, averages 33.3 yards per turn and 12.7 yards per punt return, so he put it together a decent season. 
as the kick returner, but I think we're going to have Simi Wallace in that uh, position going forward. Award winners, Garrett Humphries wins the Maxwell, he wins the Walter Camp. Trenton Christian comes in seventh on the bed, Narek. The Gursky goes to Abrams, who will be playing this in Bowl Week. Brian Watson over the team, and then the Dope Walker. I knew Humphries tripled up on his awards, so those were his three. His three winning efforts, I guess. Took me a hot second to figure out what word I was looking for. Abrams gets another award. Did anyone from Wisconsin win an award? This, uh, their, their right outside linebacker, he was at least in the Nickerski, but it's almost like they were just like the most average team. That's why they won. They were just the most well rounded team. No stars. Like that Detroit Pistons team from the mid 2000s. But they kind of had a star. Okay. Oh. Their kicker. Their kicker. In the finals for the Groza, even though it wasn't very good. I guess you just get it when you kick, have one kick. Yeah, so nothing really special from Wisconsin, but they, uh, they managed to win the national championship. And then, don't worry about the top. All I want to show you here was that we are getting votes. The coaches poll, we are 29th in the country. Getting 34 votes. So we could finish the season. The top 10 team if we manage to, uh, we manage to, to get the win over Cincinnati here. So... Hopefully we'll get that taken care of. Last thing we're going to look at before we get into the game, championship contenders. How do they see us faring going forward? We're at 29 right now. We'll drop to 98th next year, 70th and 72nd forward. So not, not a whole lot of trust in the program moving forward. But let's go ahead and get into this one. We're the home team, but Cincinnati is the better team. I want to wear the... Confluence Blue. Now let's wear the Color Rush Confluence Blue unis. Let's check to see when this game is being played. What time of day? The bowl game should be in like the middle of the day during Christmas break. But. Holy. Okay, it's at 320. Plenty of time to get that one in. With the chrome domes of the Confluence Blue helmet. Go. This is the first time we've worn this alternate, so excited to see it in action. Let's see if we can get the win here in our first ever bowl game. Cincinnati is headed to the Big 12 after this game, so their last chance to go Go out with a big win in the American over an eight and four Cascade team, both eight and four. Hi everybody, Reese Davis oh, with you, Rams. bringing we didn't you the EA nice day Sports in NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites, high stakes, and a history of crowning national champions. Both of these teams uh, ready to Glenn go as you team. take a live look at Glendale, one of the great stadiums so anywhere for football. And we're we set to tee it up shut down in the, the Fiesta Bowl. Yeah. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football Pre-Game Show. Enjoy the game. See you at the head. We haven't even kicked Shark off yet. Deal. These fans are already going That's crazy funny. for the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl here in Glendale, Arizona. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy Dude, everything. Name is threats. Are you kidding me? That's sick. How are we supposed to compete with Cincinnati that? Cincinnati lined threats. up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Sends it sailing downfield. They'll bring him down at the 17-yard line. End zone for Cascade here. Somebody will score on it eventually, so you guys will get to see it. But 
with our uh, multi-purpose field. So here comes the offense taking the field, field for the yet. first time today. Today is the first one, though I think I'll run the numbers. We should have enough money to buy a new field for next season. He fights forward to about the 19. The Mountaineers Actually, coaching staff has just been raving about this kid, here. putting up some monster stats this season. He's a great fit for their system. I think that's the key right now. That's one of the reasons why he's putting up numbers that are among the nation's elite. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, quick, quick, quick. quick throw. Nice catch there by Mark Redman. Good contact. People who have never heard of us know. Second down and seven. Ball on the 48. We are uh, over with. Oh, Here's an opening. And their misses is Gains his way to the 43 the yard line. He kept it himself and picked, and picked up a good looking back. first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He's lucky he's like our only running back on the roster for next year, other than. Rookies, freshman, Up the freshman middle rookies. for a nice game. Humphrey gained seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. You'll get the call again. Runs it left for a decent game. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. We've lost on for a big game. We'll, we'll settle for a big game. It's there. Throws it to the outside. Oh, it's got to be pushed. It's complete. Be oh, man, except that. Oh, there we go. One yard. He got it. If they don't review it, I'm reviewing it. They're inside the I'm reviewing it. It already gave him a touchdown. It's 0 0. Yes. About a yard to Pater. I don't think he's going to give it to me because of the way the challenge is worth it. So oh, the call the on the field stands. It already shows Will Watson has a touchdown pass. And it's 0-0. Zero zero. Ridiculous. I can't believe that just cost us a time on it. The game already thinks it was a touchdown. He's in for the touchdown. Oh, yeah. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. That's so well deserved. And he taps on the extra point. A nice eight play, 83-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Well, I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is a quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. So the score now, 7-0. Oh, rising the Tackle made at the 21-yard line. So didn't really feel the presence of that uh, all-world. Uh, so let's see what the offense can do Abram. as they come out so onto the field. Hopefully we can keep 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 him. him. Like, hopefully we can keep him silent for the rest of the game. And he throws it away. Interesting that the run, running attack is a more. It's effective. second and ten. Ball on their own twenty-one. Effective. Part of the offense coming into this game. It appears to be. He might have a chance. Okay. He's to the forty, and 
Oh, that was a pass information. That's what I was trying to say. 46 but. yard line. Oh, yeah. that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. We're basically playing our side for it now. The better version. Better players. He scrambled. Oh, got a house. Got to have his tackles. Down. Around the 38-yard line. I'm He's telling you, quarterbacks like who can God. run the ball are so huge. hard to yeah. stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From the 38-yard line, first down. Ford on the inside handoff. They'll knock him down for a loss. And he was pretty much well, stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping he him before he could get going and build Lucky up momentum. Man. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one no snuffed way. out from no the start. Way. It could have been an even bigger loss. They're down and they need to get it to the 28. I was singing his phrases before the misses. About the 23 yard line. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers body around. Right, they they needed no a quick play on third out. down. He got it for him. He's like 10 yards behind him, bro. He might have a chance. Mm. Yeah. Touchdown, Cincy. Nice. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Brutal. A nice seven play, 80 yard drive, and they get it Brutal. in for seven. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. Fletcher looks ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 19. Yard line. I have a breakdown the blocking are having their way on offense so far yeah. in this football game. Just a nice rhythm to what they're trying to do. It's a balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop them. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Oh. He's got the corner. Oh, he oh he's out of bounds at the 29. Good job missing the spots on this, uh, this game. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football us, from the first down mark. Good job. And a quick throw. He's tackled. So the first down yard line. Line. there. So they complete that for about seven yards. Watch and they'll pick we'll up the first down. down. Nice they they protection. Good touchdown. pass. And even a better catch. She can ask for much Boom. more than that. Three three. When you've got a quarterback three making three. throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Like He's taken down ran. around the 44-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain That's of eight. Good job. It's second hey, look, down, and they they're about two yards you away have from one the touch. sticks. You can't have a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown. With only seven. This is not it. Play by three. He and Thomas. Kind of read that one all the way. And the quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He got him. chucks it got him. downfield. Let's go. Throws complete. He's got space to work. All day. Touchdown. Big play. He's got 501 yards receiving now on the season. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. 
Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Oh, boy. The 50. He's knocked out of bounds. At about right the 45. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production, the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Well, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length last season of the field. Us. Think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. By tried yeah, to change some things one. up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. If you need any more evidence of Will Watson's abysmal it's second down now, they're just a few feet hostiles. away from that first down marker. Bulge ability, it's this season. You'd had, I think, half as many. Inception. Yeah, we're bringing down. And we went down eight the 38 yard line. The penetration and by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. Like we're basically in the game, so. scamper from the halfback and that's going to be good for the first that's a good call going with the draw there it put just enough pause in the defense to allow a good game from the 31 yard line first down tackle after a decent run up the gut four get seven yards on the play come on guys that'll be second and three Make a play. The defense has been our strength. They come out in an the empty backfield. They're falling apart. Oh, bang. Right right hey, that's a heads up play You're there the by the defender. Here, yeah. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Third down, and they're going to need about three it's yards spent. to pick up the first down. Mm -hmm. Why, but. Dang. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were That's unable cool. to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking oh, right God. now. Five. Touchdown, Cincinnati. God, yeah, tackle, dude. He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. Yeah. We need more. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He need like two pick sixes to make up for high four lead. And he converts the extra point. Not even. They line up to kick this one away. Maybe like a nine, He just drills this one. one. He's to the 10. Oh. He's taken down. At the oh, yeah, line. Kirk, I gotta ask you, are the defense is ever gonna show up in this one? The crazy thing, Brad, is these guys have had all week to prepare to get ready to face these offenses. Not even. It's so been longer far, than a week. No I don't game. think We've either team longer. has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and Let's get a little separation. Know what they want to run on defense. And that's what's allowing us to uh, scrambling around. Oh, don't think he's got nowhere to go. There's nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be. More patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receiver oh, to get a little down bit field a little the bit before he throws it. They line he up at the 14. His, uh, Second down. Nice hit. Oh, and he drops it. Oh, the receiver and he can't make the grab. He's killing us. We're gonna die, and it's gonna be Kyle Moles' fault. Third and nine from our own 13. Okay. What a better time to run a play for the first time. And it went right around the 28 yard line. Yes. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Smoke that out. Nice work. 
to loss of about three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. So at the end of one quarter, 14 apiece. Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlocked after the first 15 minutes. He finds to the 26. Gain of a yard by the fullback. Don't sustain long enough for him to get up the field, unfortunately. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Ooh, he he gets sacked pocket. on the play. And for Abrams, he's oh, just he rewritten the school's record books for sacks in a season. Already this guy's Already been a destroyer all year long, long getting into the backfield. And us. I'm sure he's happy to have this new record. Oh, crap. I hit him. Close that. Terrible drive. And one first right down. is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Right. Fields it at the 40. Tackle at the 48 yard line. Oh boy, we're in danger. Chuckles. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Oh, there Gets we go, it out quick and it's going the other way. Oh, dude. Dude, so big you can't throw an accurate pass, I guess. From their own 34 yard line. It's first down. Right 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 Play action under pressure. Nice pass there by Will Watson. Yes, some room. That's up for Rake and a couple tackles by Cam Rawls. What a play. What a play. Oh, right here they saw the ball to the tight end. The big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Well, nice catch. Yeah, Jukes enough credit there. Two guys the defense on the line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacks. And he got through almost untouched. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 27-yard line. Oh, Passes in pass, and it's picked yeah. off by the safety. Oh, not going to anything. Yep. Uh, the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. There was a little bit of room. I don't know. Probably because I zipped it and I should have aired it out. I probably still would have picked it off. It's good. Yeah. But. It was definitely room. That ball downfield right field in big chunks that's like that. Man. You've got the defense right where you want him. Oh, they have us right where they want him. From the 48 yard line. First down. Oh, beautiful. Nice job, Jones. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here, the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. They come out of a five-wide set. The offensive line needs to do a better job be a of not only handling it. the defense and the linemen, the but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball Such carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Gets rid of it quickly. That'll make it fourth down. They're going to have to punt. No, Great hold by the defense. Out. They were expecting the pass out. play, and they defended it very Destroyed well. Destroyed on that route. He didn't even have a chance. He didn't even... The ball landed on the ground. Fletcher is He's waiting for the snap. We need to pull McKinney out of the game. And he's taken down at the 18. Well, he, 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 he needs to stop. I said I'm not. I should look. 
as if he the is. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And I don't he's, think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to gonna try to continue to rattle this guy. New Wallace is going to be able to do it on his own. Complete. He's got room. Oh, Chandler had to break that down. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 40. So an empty backfield uh, with five wide receivers. Receiver. If XYZ insert player throws it deep. Block. Huge ball. Almost picked off. Yard line. Humphrey gets around three on that halfback counter play. We are not getting much done. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Calls for the fair catch. Way to pin him deep. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more There's confident going into halftime. Defenders are was. really oh going to have to get their Dude, heads where are you in this going? game. That was a where big play, going? and on He's first down. We're benching him. Yeah, and we're putting Brian in. Oh, yeah. Game over. Eddie. From their own 31 yard line. First down. He fires right. Got it. He's on the He's on the he made a really good move no at the line way. of scrimmage. I'm Sometimes not, all not. you need to do is throw oh off the defender's God. timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Hey, at least Brian had was covering this guy. Right, right around the Perfect read by Nick Taylor there. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. Good stop there by the freshman. It was a nice Got to be too. careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. Second and ten. Ball yeah, on their own 44. Yeah. Doesn't really like that play specifically. Here he goes. Mm. He's at the 30. That's tough. Touchdown, Bearcats. At least Evan Prater can do something. He can't pass, he can do it. From unimpeded to the end. And he tacks on the Good extra match. point. Cincinnati ready to kick point. this one off. Here's that. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. Right our heads. We're, we've got terrible starting field position. Yeah. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got him on the screenplay. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Welcome. He's to the 40. Probably could have found more, more there for the touchdown. That one goes for good yardage. 
it really yeah, looks like. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on up. second down. Somebody else downfield. I mean, that was the, the dump off. Right there, so. so it's second and ten. Map. Ball on their own 41. Their own Five map. guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He wants it all. That's gotta be money. He's there we taken go. down around the 12 yard line. The receiver did a nice job to separate himself from the defense on that one. And when the defense is going to play he man coverage so out there, all the receiver sure. has to do is get a Ready for the drop. Terrible blocking. He's got him up in the back. But that's it now. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Second and 14. Ball that's on the 16 good. yard line. Makes it out to about the seven. The, the offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Tied up there before the uh, end of the half, and then we hold it scoreless. Have so he punches it into the end zone for the second score. time today. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this That's one's over. It's really helped carry the offense so far today. We'll be oh, tied with the really extra point, and he hits the, the PAT. He can have a little bit more pressure on the ground, but it's not really his fault. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. I want to kill him through this abysmal block on the top of that. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Kirk, the way these offenses are playing, it's like NCAA football 14, EA Sports. It's all over. Yeah, Brad, this yeah. reminds me and me and you last night with a little, the, with the little controllers in our hands. Self-reference there. Up points, even yeah, though you numbers. did a nice job there nice. for a beginner, partner. This has got to be a You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And down he goes. Quite the uh, run there by Jerome the Ford as he, he really passes two some of them from the there. side. Including, no question. When you including talk second about team All-American Nick the Taylor. And leave everybody but, uh, in the dust. You have here. to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He throws it. And he holds it in. He's pushed out of bounds. About oh, the 49. Yeah, the really defense looks a little sluggish there. there. And they can We're do better there. than that. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49. <laughs> He's scrambling, heading for the corner. He'll take it himself. Cincinnati is going to have to use their second time out of the air. half. Great job here second, converting fumble, and keeping this defense on, on the field. They're getting very tired. Maybe it, they fumble and it's really bounced right back in this hands. Now he tries to buy some time. Oh, okay. Okay, I missed right three tackles. On the 12 -yard line. I cost us a touchdown. Regular, regular, regular. Dude's got 136 yards rushing as a quarterback. Oh my gosh. He might not be able to get the pass off. Slides oh, down to the, the ground. Take the hit like a man. They're definitely not going to get it. Now he's scrambling. Dives forward. Oh, the Bearcats using their third and final the time timeout. Out. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. And they're going to take a timeout here and let oh, them think about man. it. Yeah, there's there's the timeout we were all expecting. Then he's the home. He gets right. it up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Well, we're going to the ball back. 
This return should be the last play of the half. He'll need to break it all the way to give his team the lead. Or we could just bomb the three. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He chucks it down. Oh. And it's oh. caught. Good tackle. He was the last line oh of the fence. Of course we it's halftime here, there. and we really saw some offensive fireworks in that first half. Cincinnati leads 24-21. Glad to have you with us in the they studio really for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Sometimes it's great to think outside the box, and I applaud both of these defensive oh boy. Welcome back to the well, action. Second half down. just about right, set to begin. We got a tight I, game here. Good little spot, I guess, but touchdown is Pretty. It's a, it's a tough play. Right. Fields it at the one. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Oh, yeah. That's, that's absolutely. So they're just about set to get the game there. going again. Right's lucky to do that. Cincinnati yeah. holds a field goal lead. Scrambling it around. Tackle made. That's right around the 34. Scramble. He picks up a good seven yards cut. there, and the quarterback like keeper. Whole 180 cut. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. We need to get some sacks. That's what I'm Laterals back. He's out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air with a play-action pass. Like 30 sacks. Bring back to the negative. I'll put on the run. Oh, it's a good pick. Bring him back should down at the 39. This, this should, is why it's every so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. The handball picks disgusting. up maybe five yards on the draw play. That brings him second and five. Seems he's got like a change of direction. Ready to come He scrambled. He's got the corner. He's at the 20. The ball is. Loose. Oh, Picks up the fumble. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these yeah, guys some added line. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. I'm not this sure. deficit can be easily overcome. Sure. Not sure if but they, they have to be thinking if they don't get something or, going on this uh, series, uh, the first is going to be fed by their defense. Had he recovered it and then retreated in the end zone like he did. Got him tackling, but player safety. He's to the 10. That's wrong by Garrett Hayes there. Around the 19 yard line. That one down. got him out of some. Danger. The offense caught a break there. Great run by this guy to get him out of the face of their own end zone. From their own 19-yard line, it's first down. Big opening. He's to the 40, Good the 50. Come on. Come on. I don't touch you. Inside the 30. 98 yards on two runs. The 10. There we go. He's all the way there we home. go. Touchdown. I think you took back a little bit. Right That's his third trip to the end zone. Until they can figure out how to slow him down, it's going to be very yeah, tough for them to get back yeah, into this game. And he adds the extra point. point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Perhaps I thought the giant defensive tackle might be one. Yeah, they chase him down from behind. I was not pissed. 
from his own goal line. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Got the corner. A sack there by McCuller. Huge swing in these last couple plays on defense, I would say. There you go. Way to get it. Way to get it. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Our third down defense. Defending the, uh, the line to gain. Fletcher That's not awaits the snap. Side. Okay, no one blocked that guy. They'll bring it uh, down at the 40 yard line. What a game it's Love been that. for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think the great thing that he's been able to do is spread the football around. It's not Last just been Watson one out, receiver. He a 60 yard you can find more Davis. receivers. It makes it much easier to move the ball down the field. Awesome. But I also Good think pass. a big key to his success today Davis. has been the offensive line. Time oh, and time just again, hurry. they've done a Good job of giving him the amount of time he needs back in the pocket to be able to read the defense and then make a throw downfield. So good job by the big guys up front. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Probably the most yards he's seen again. He's at midfield. Blocking he's at the 40. Here. Inside the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds. 45 yards. At the 15. He's at 142 rushing yards in the last three carries. That's how you completely change the narrative. It's also how you get radio hosts to say, well, if you take away these three Looking runs, to capitalize on the big production, run. Well, now it's first and you only ten. have 30 yards in the game. That's where all the Cincinnati over... Cincinnati, Cincinnati radio hosts are all saying. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. Oh, he shut down Gains eight yards on that play. Right, majority of the game, and it wasn't for these three runs. He only got 30 yards. Yeah, well, he didn't. Yeah, 198 yards, 188 yards, whatever he's at. Man. Oh, what a drop. Oh, my gosh. He can't hang on to the ball. That's disgusting. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That was sickening. Sickening drop by Ryan's. Down the play. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. Here's the screen. And there's a touchdown for and he's got oh, the touchdown. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he converts the extra point. It was a six-play, 59-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The Mountaineers' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk. And now doing nice well, well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half. It's paid play. off for them. I think right now they're tuned Looks in nice. to what this offense is trying to do. And I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. That's it. No plan like that. And he's taken down. 
right around the 46 yard line. And for Ford, he's had no problem finding running room today. They've been playing for this all season, and he knows he's got to be at his very best on every play. From their own 46 yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at midfield. Three, maybe four yards on the scramble. That brings him second and five. Roger, Roger. Hey, watch that, watch that. Here we go. Watch, change it. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. We'll look at that. Both linebackers are playing in it. Essentially. From the 49-yard line. Third down. That plays be six down. That's it. That's it. Oh, he drops it. Almost had it, but it's in. Complete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Was a, a very smart decision by the quarterback. Right he had there. no Finally shot at completing it. In a hot man, a and they could oh, really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. There we go. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. And for Humphreys, he's had a lot of success running the ball today. Well, he has, Brad. And also, you can see that extra gear that he has when he gets out into the open field, which allows him to come up with the big play. And also give him credit for just being able to hold on to the football. You know, sometimes in these conditions, you see the ball down on the ground, turning the football over. Here, he's done a good job of holding on to it, protecting it, and also coming up with those big yards. Maybe tough, but it's good. We've got a first and yeah, ten. And on their own 33. He's taken down at the 34. The halfback picks up a yard. He's on the run. Again, where is the blocking? We had two blockers, two people to block. And it's a touchdown. He kept it himself and one person up a good look first down. Great really good execution and a hey. good decision That's there so by the quarterback. We must hate Will Watson. First down, 10 yards to go. All on their own 46. Nice run there. I, I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding oh, it. Zach Denbo. I hate this dude. He's so bad. Now that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Outside. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. Kind of went nowhere, quite honest. From their own 43 yard line. Second down. And the white can keep it on the ground. Regardless of holding penalties. Gains his way to the 49 yard line. And that's going to take a sleep and a full quarter. Definitely time for a black. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The Mountaineers in front by 11. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Makes the catch and look out. There's a strike. Would have been under by Watson, but he left this one either way. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. And this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier. I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. And, they're playing and this is the eighth play of the drive.
Yeah, that looks as about as obvious as they can. But... You can't teach instinct. Probably. Probably. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Third down again. Ooh, the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive That's here with their pass rush, that and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And watch out, yeah, they're going to bring the heat right here. Not. Hangs it up high. That'll work. Signals for a fair catch. That'll work. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. situation here it's second down and one four gets the call again gains his way to the 29 yard line. super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down he's really a good looking ball carrier Ooh, that was a huge one. The 39 yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Absolutely. Everybody knew hit. their assignment, and it all came together for a nice Some run. Bruising. From their bruising. own 39 yard line. First down. And down he goes, right around the 40. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. Right, That's a nice play by the freshman in the corner Grant to help Brown. out and run support. Here's the placement. There to make the stop. He steps up, runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. Is he again sliding down before I'm able to absolutely cook him? That'll make it 35. Third and five. Ball on their own 45. That quickly and complete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Fletcher is the putter. It's away. Short punt. Not near to rank high nationally in yards per game, and after today, I can see why. Well, there's really nothing you can do to stop this offense. If you load up to stop the run, they throw. If you sit back, they can run. And that versatility has allowed them today to have a huge performance. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Oof. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. Right. If that defender who go had not been well, potentially been a huge run. From their own 38 yard line. But it looks like they're going to be a little bit shy. Uh, two guys on the season. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Uh, there's, the, there's the score record. Held by the second greatest Adrian Peterson ever played college football at the Georgia Southern. Look him up. The dude was insane. Man left, man left. Less than three minutes in the game. If he was Adrian Peterson. Up the middle for a nice game. For third down and medium, you'd think the defense would have a chance here to get really aggressive and to be able to stop the offense. I don't know. Maybe they were anticipating a pass there. But they've got to do a better job of defending the run, especially on third down. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Cincinnati just took their first time out. That's going to be a slow going.
from their own 48 yard line. It's second down. Yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Player. Nice stop by the junior. He's coming from broken up two plays. Yes, this now. Yes, he's in space. And they push him out. The 35. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. Well, this guy is such a big part of this yeah, offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have that much success moving the football. And so much for the bowl game jitters. Just a great performance today by this young man. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep him out of the end zone. There are two, two minutes to go in this football game. He gets out to about the 14 yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's the ninth play of the drive. The clock again. I don't know why I'm not. Just over a minute left. I definitely that off. They'll drop him. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a kid, yeah. no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. The 10. A huge play. Now they're in a great position to score. Today. He gets another set of Lots downs of and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coach. Staff. This is the 11th play of this drive. Let's go, let's go. And the ball for a nice game. That's good. Gains about five yards on the run. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Oh, he he's taken down around the one yard line. The Mountaineers taking their first time. season beat Cincinnati in the Barstool Bowl. Got to think we're going to be ranked at the end of the season here. We'll go ahead That's going to do it for this one. Our final score dance to the end of the bowl season. Check that out and then we'll get into the off season. Go ahead and just give us your uh, reflections on this game. It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Yeah. Cincinnati big probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big open. plays when they needed to. It is the play of the game for him. Let's go ahead and Get to the end of the season here. See where we ended up. See how other teams fared. Check out the final stats. Oh, we're going to add the Arizona Black Derby. Let's go. Nine and four. Show us the first ranking in program history so we can completely drop out of the rankings by next season. Here we go. Here we go. I don't think we're eligible for a eligible to join a conference, but I will check the rules that I made at the beginning of this dynasty. We might be. I'm not sure. If we are, we could be in a, we could be in a conference next year. Be on the lookout for that. Still waiting. Come on. Advance to the next week faster. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm saying we're 22nd in the country. That's my prediction. Official prediction, 22nd in the country. Level 9. Plus broke some records here. Let's see. Humphrey's rushing yards. Yep, we saw that. Will Watson has some touchdowns in a career. No ranking. Are you kidding me? Well, we got 27. We finished 27. And 27th in the AP poll. That is brutal. That is brutal. Oh, man. I'm sick. I'm sick. Well, that's going to do it for this final episode of the uh, third season. We'll advance to the fourth season next week or in the next episode. And I will uh, go ahead and show you guys that getting some of the conference realignment stuff but thank you for watching this episode of the cascade mountaineers dynasty